The teenager hit by a tractor trailer truck yesterday is expected to make a full recovery. Meanwhile, another close call in Sanford this morning as a student was boarding his bus. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amanda Hill and I'm Zach Blanchard in for Brian Yacono. The 13 year old from Gray was hit as he was walking from his school bus to his home. Now community members are rallying around the boy and his family. New Center Maine Sam Rogers is live from the Gray New Gloucester Middle School with more Sam. Hey, Zach and Amanda. Well, it's been a whirlwind of emotions during the last 24 hours in the Gray New Gloucester community. Today, school counselors were on hand for students, staff and bus drivers after the near tragic incident yesterday afternoon. And in front of the school is a banner that reads, we love our bus drivers. Now, school officials want to remind drivers all across the state to take it slow around school buses. And just today in Sanford, there was almost a repeat incident. Yesterday, we were just horrified at what happened up in Gray. Parents across the state are thinking more about school bus safety after a teenager in Gray was hit here on Lewiston Road trying to walk home from the bus. And it's just really scary because we know we saw yesterday what happens, right? The next morning in Sanford. <laughs> this was my bus stop when I was a kid. Brett Williams making sure his own kid got on his bus safely, a routine he's had for years. The red lights were on. My son was already getting on the bus when around this corner, a cement mixer comes and couldn't stop and went right through. Williams says it's not the first close call at the intersection of Grammar Road and Grammar Street. Of all the things that you worry about with your kid in 2023, mm -hmm. I feel like getting him on the bus should be the safest part of their day. He adds what does make him feel better is he trusts his kid's bus driver, a sometimes thankless job. But she was also infuriated. It's probably in many, many ways one of the most important job in the school district. Craig King is the superintendent of MSAD 15 in Gray. People in his district in shock after Tuesday's news, but hearing the student will be okay has helped. Bit of a miracle, but we're really uh, happy that although he, uh, he has a long recovery head, there, there will be a recovery. But there are steps main drivers can take to make sure there are no more close calls in the future. So it does require a little bit of extra safety, particularly around morning drop off time and, and, and afternoon uh, bus schedule. Now, Superintendent King says this is a very tight knit community and there has been an outpouring of support for the injured student and the family. And if you would like to send a note, a gift or just pass along your well wishes to the family, you can send them here to the middle school and school officials will make sure they get to the family. Amanda Sam Rogers live in gray for us tonight. Sam, thank you.